Ford Motor Company has been plagued with recalls and quality control issues in 2022. It's costing the company billions of dollars. Base business is getting more profitable. Uh, we're fixing our launch issues and our quality issues. Ford Motor Company, one of the most recognized names in the auto industry, has been facing a tough time lately with quality issues leading to recalls. The company has suffered huge financial losses in trying to address these issues and, unfortunately, is losing the trust of many customers. Now, Jim Farley has decided to stay ahead of the situation and has come up with a bold plan to get the company back on track. So, what exactly are these changes? Join us as we take a look at the big changes that the Ford CEO has proposed to fix quality issues. The Built Tough slogan was first used by Ford Motor Company in 1979 to promote its line of pickup trucks. The slogan was designed to communicate the durability and ruggedness of Ford's trucks, emphasizing their ability to withstand tough conditions and demanding workloads. Now, over the years, Ford has continued to use the Built Tough slogan in its marketing campaigns, and it has become closely associated with the company's truck line. The slogan has evolved to encompass a broader range of attributes beyond just toughness, such as durability, reliability, and compatibility. But nowadays, the slogan looks like just another marketing strategy, as the company has repeatedly failed to live up to those standards. In 2018, Ford introduced a new version of the slogan, Built Ford Tough, which tries to blanket the entire company's cars with the same quality standards as its trucks. But unfortunately, the company has become the automaker with the most recalls in the last couple of years. One notable recall that Ford had to deal with is the Takata airbag recall. The recall affected millions of vehicles from various manufacturers, including Ford. The airbag was found to be defective and could explode when deployed, potentially causing injury or death. Ford had to recall over 3 million vehicles due to this issue. Another significant recall that Ford has had to deal with is the Ford Explorer exhaust fume recall. The recall affected over 1.3 million Ford Explorer SUVs built between 2011 and 2017. The issue involved exhaust fumes leaking into the cabin of the vehicle, which could cause carbon monoxide poisoning. This recall was particularly concerning as it affected law enforcement enforcement agencies who used the Ford Explorer as a police vehicle. Well, last year, the company had to recall more than 634,000 SUVs worldwide due to a faulty fuel injector. The issue was caused by a cracked injector that could leak fumes into a heated engine, increasing the risk of fire. To make matters worse, the latest models of Bronco Sport and Escape SUVs with three-cylinder, 1.5-liter engines were also included in the recall, causing widespread concern among consumers. In April, over 737,000 vehicles were recalled due to a leak in the oil separator housing, which could lead to an engine fire. The recall affected several 2020 to 2022 Ford Escapes and a few 2021 to 2022 Ford Bronco Sports, totaling 345,451 vehicles with the 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine. These quality issues have caused significant financial losses for Ford and eroded customer trust, making it imperative for the company to take swift action. Ford's recall troubles have taken a significant toll on the company's finances. In fact, the automaker had the highest number of recalls of any other automaker last year, leading to substantial financial losses. The company reported a staggering $827 million loss in the third quarter of 2022, in stark contrast to the $1.8 billion profit it made in the same period in 2021. These losses are attributed to the costs associated with fixing the quality issues in their SUVs and the negative impact it had on customer trust. Because of this, the company has decided to fix this issue, and it has announced some big plans. Ford is taking a bold new approach to address their quality issues, and it's all about prevention rather than cure. Joseph Closerto, the manager of Kentucky Truck Plant, revealed that he halted production for up to three days earlier this year to address quality problems in the new generation of Ford's heavy-duty pickups. 
Rather than building trucks and fixing defects later, Closerto and his team opted to shut down the assembly line to address the problem on the spot. This was just one of several elements in Ford's new approach to tackling quality issues that they are road testing with the launch of their new redesigned Super Duty trucks. This proactive approach aims to catch quality problems before they even make it to the assembly line, giving engineers and suppliers time to address any issues and ensure that the trucks meet Ford's rigorous quality standards. This is a significant departure from Ford's past approach of building trucks and then fixing any defects later, which resulted in costly recalls and a decline in customer trust. The pressure is on for Chief Executive Jim Farley to tackle Ford's quality demons and ensure that they don't continue to take a bite out of the profitability. Last year, the automaker spent a staggering $4.17 billion on warranty claims, more than its larger rival General Motors. The stakes are high for Ford, as a successful launch for its new Super Duty line is crucial to hitting profit targets this year. But Ford executives aren't taking any chances. They know that investing more upfront to catch quality issues early will pay off in the long run. In fact, they set the bar even higher for the new Super Duty line, aiming to exceed the quality of the outgoing product. This meant delaying production until they saw consistent delivery on those targets. And while it took longer than planned, Super Duty chief engineer Andrew Kernahan says they're confident it was worth the extra effort. After all, in the competitive world of automakers, you can't afford to cut corners when it comes to quality. To make sure this happens, the plant has added 300 quality inspectors and additional engineers to chase down the root causes of defects and design new digital tools for catching problems before the trucks even roll off the assembly line. Now, One such tool involves using cameras to feed images of electrical connections to software that can determine whether the connections are properly connected. In addition to this, engineers have built command centers with more big screens than many sports bars, all displaying data from different assembly stations. One command center, known as Claire's Corner, has 16 screens and was designed by process engineering manager Claire Yarmark. The complexity of the new trucks presents unique challenges, as new comfort features, such as reclining seats that convert into beds, create new opportunities for trouble. Yarmark and her team have risen to the challenge, using the data on their screens to detect and address any issue in real time. For example, when a sensor hooked into Yarmark's screens detected a defect sensor in the sleeper seat, the line stopped. This proactive approach ensures that any quality problems are caught early and resolved before they become bigger issues. Also, instead of just test driving a small sample of trucks for issues, they deployed a team of workers to drive a whopping 28,000 new generation Super Duties along a 25-mile route near the factory. And they didn't just go for a leisurely drive. The team was instructed to test every button, knob, and function in the truck to make sure it was working properly. If it's got a button, touch it. Make sure it works, said David Jones, a member of the test driving team and a 34-year Ford veteran whose father also worked at Kentucky Truck. But that's not all. Kentucky Truck also implemented a unique manufacturing process. Instead of building Building all the different versions of the Super Duty from the start, they started with the simplest work trucks and worked their way up to the more advanced models. This allowed them to focus on fixing any issues that arose before moving on to the more complex trucks with more electric features and luxury appointments, such as the Tremor Diesel, which has a hefty price tag of up to $119,000. It's always easier to identify problems before they become major issues, and it's possible that Ford could have implemented these measures sooner. However, it's important to note that fixing quality issues is not a simple task, and it requires significant investment in resources and infrastructure. It's also worth mentioning that in recent years, the auto industry has been evolving rapidly with the introduction of new technologies and features in vehicles. As a result, automakers are facing new and complex challenges in ensuring that their products meet the highest standards of quality and safety. Nonetheless, it's encouraging to see that Ford is taking proactive steps to addressing these issues and regain the trust of its customers. The company's commitment to quality will be crucial in maintaining its position as a leading automaker in a highly competitive market. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.